What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. In this quick video, I want to emphasize the importance of using the correct NEMA 1450 receptacle to charge your Tesla at home. Ever since I moved to Savannah and bought a home with a garage, I've been charging my Tesla with a basic $10 1450 I had installed. I plug in my Model 3 about once a week using the mobile connector that comes with the car. If you are familiar with the mobile charger specifications, the car will continually pull 32 amps from the receptacle until the Tesla is charged at your chosen percentage. Depending on the state to charge your Tesla, this can be, well, for my case, sometimes up to 7 hours while I sleep at night. This will generate a lot of heat on that outlet and also the mobile charger UMC box. I didn't think anything of it and thought it was normal. After about 6 months have passed, charging my Model 3 about once a week, I received this notification on my car screen. Charge rate reduced, wall plug temperature high, and it further states to check the wire installation. My charge rate at night dropped from 32 amps down to 20 amps and sometimes I'd wake up to find out the car had not even completed charging after 8 hours. I further read into this and found out that not all NEMA 1450 outlets are created equal. In fact, straight from Tesla's website, it recommends using a high quality industrial grade outlet, one that can handle the continuous output of 32 amps for many hours without getting too hot. First off, thank you to the Tesla mobile connector for recognizing this issue by lowering the amperage. The last thing you want is an electrical fire to burn down your house because of a cheap outlet you bought at Home Depot. After I read this issue on my Tesla screen, I immediately ordered a replacement receptacle from Amazon since I could not find an industrial grade one at any big box retail store. This Hubble brand NEMA 1450 receptacle cost me about $90 and what I first noticed was the weight difference in comparison to the Eaton brand outlet that cost 10 bucks. The Hubble outlet felt heavier and more durable. Even the torque hexagon screw with the solid copper fitting was far superior over the flathead torque screw from the Eaton brand. While there was no evidence of melting over the use of the Eaton receptacle, I didn't want to take any risk to find out later. Here are some pictures of other Tesla owners I found who also use cheap receptacles. Don't be that person to risk your home and your Tesla to a fire. I understand Tesla has safeguards in place to prevent this from happening, like what we saw the UMC core would just lower the amperage when it senses something is not right, but I'd rather not test those limits. Go ahead and just spend the extra money on something with quality what Tesla recommends to use. If you'd rather not use a receptacle with the included mobile charger, I would recommend purchasing a Tesla wall connector. This will be a little bit more expensive than the normal NEMA outlet I installed. Now I felt very comfortable swapping out this outlet myself, however if you do not know much about electricity, do not attempt to do this yourself. Please hire a professional electrician. Also if you are upgrading your outlet, I found out that my old faceplate was too small to fit around the new Hubble brand outlet. I ordered the correct Hubble outlet cover which I could not find at either Home Depot or Lowe's, yet alone an industrial grade 1450 receptacle. If you found this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind clicking that like button below so other Tesla owners can find this, I would really appreciate it. I'm also doing live YouTube streams every Sunday now and you can certainly join in and ask me any questions you may have. As we can see the car is now back up to a continuous 32 amps and I can sleep well at night knowing that I'm not going to have an overheated plug. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.